for some breaking news. Apparently, Creality has just come out with their response to the. So there's a leak of Creality latest printer. So it's on like Donkey Kong. Disclaimer, this is not an April Fool's prank. This is information that was released yesterday. Now back to the video. So there is a new leak. Now this leak was from a Twitter post on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, of a conference where Creality, all their geniuses and all their engineers got together and someone took a picture of this. Here's a closer look of the new printer. So as you guys can see, it has a dual nozzle, just like the Bamboo Lab. Um, it has this. They are really doing this, and, and they're showing you here two different color filaments here. And from the picture, it looks like it's like some sort of paper or page or pamphlet. And then this is the Creality logo, and it looks pretty legit. It doesn't look like a fake. For some breaking news, apparently Creality has just come out with their response to the H2D. So as you can see here, this looks like a dual print head machine with a clear acrylic plastic case on the front. You can clearly see there's two print heads here. So it looks like Creality is copying Bamboo Lab yet again and making their own dual extruder machine. And they've already got renders of it. This is, this is from a leaked presentation. If we take a close look, we can see some details. Up at the top, you can see two streams of different colored filament going in. And off to the side here, this looks like a lever for filament cutting and it's got a linear rail for the x-axis on the motion system. I think this is kind of surprising to most people that Creality already has a solution lined up as a competitor to the H2D as soon as it's come. So this is the first reporting. It has a pretty cool channel. You should check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the description of his channel. He was the first one to report on it, so I'm going to give him super uh, thanks and credit for his re reporting. So this is the, the image. It looks like it's in a projector. And they're doing some sort of conference guys so this new machine is possibly going to be geared more to user friendly not professionals it's going to be a cheaper version of that printer the creality already pr produces and it looks like i mean i like the the whole plexi kind of like clear look you can see how the machine works just like the h2d um, yeah, and it doesn't look like it's going to have the laser because the laser, it does add a lot of weight to the print head and it re slows down the printer by a lot. So I don't think people want to get a slower version of the, um, or they already have the K2 Plus, which is a good printer. Um, so I don't think people want to get another printer with dual heads and it's slower than the K2 Plus. So I think it's going to be just a printer without the laser. I'm not sure guys, let me know in the comments if you guys on the, um, if you guys disagree, if you guys agree, let me know. Um, what else do we have to cover here? Uh, yeah, this is pretty much, and this is on Twitter. So if you guys want to check it out check out Nate's channel and see the the original reporting and yeah this is um, what we have going on right now it's a very interesting time in 3d printing um, I think competition is good it's good for pricing as you guys know the h2d with the full combo is about 2500 with tax so if we can get another version out there or another um, affordable version that you you know you can get the same amount of add-ons or the same amount of features at a reasonable price that will definitely help the market and will definitely help the 3d printing community because at the end of the day it's all about the community not just making profit so more bad news for bamboo lab the X tool is partnering up with uh, Snapmaker to create their own 3D printer. I don't know if you guys know anything about the X tool, but that's the uh, my last last video. I, I spoke about the X tool, how they're a laser company 
and Bamboo Lab is trying to muscle their way into their business. So now they're muscling their way into the 3D printing business with their new 3D printer with multi tool heads with the partnership with Snapmaker. This looks a lot like the X1 Carbon in the way that uh, the corners are rounded, the way the structure of the pr uh, 3D printer, the spools are in the, on the outside just like the Prusa XL. The only difference is that the Prusa XL is really a large printer and it's very very expensive. This is, looks like a smaller printer, almost like a 220 by 220, kind of like the Ender 3 kind of size and it has the capability of changing multi-tool heads and is a X Core Y which is the new quickly a laser company the X the X tool um, is trying to get into the 3D printing business right now we're living through the golden age of 3D printing I remember years ago a 3D printer was very unreliable and it was very expensive and it's really hard to get your hand on a 3D printer now it's very available for anyone to get started and very easy to get information about it on the internet let me know guys in the comments below if this is a real printer or is that a fake printer i think it's not an april fool's joke i don't think it's a prank i think this is a real printer that reality has been working for a while on and they're about to release it in June. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking they're gonna release it in June and they're gonna be shipping it out for the holidays or that uh, for 2025. So around sep November, September, they're gonna be shipping out the first pre-orders. And I don't know guys, I think this is actually really interesting. If they can come up with a, a answer to the H2D at a, I don't know, for a full combo at the price of like 1800 maybe 1900 shipped to your house that will be ideal but then again we don't know yet all the details I am going to be posting more videos as information is coming through so make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one